Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we got another catch, clean, and cook for you. I hope. Never been here before. Welcome to Clear Lake, south of Houston, Texas. Yeah, I really no idea what to expect here. You know, I Google fished this area last night a little bit on Earth just to kind of get a lay of it. Uh, I got some boats running around out there, some big boats, offshore boats. I know this connects over to Galveston Bay. Um, back to the east of us, we're going to just kind of go cruise around a little bit, see what kind of uh, lay of the waters out there and hey we'll soak a shrimp okay phil has got something bigger this time i don't know what probably big catfish <laughs> oh. Oh. hopefully it's a redfish we're gonna need a net Sheep's head. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, black drum. Black drum. Oh, <laughs> now I don't know what the size limit is here in uh, Tex for these is. I mean I throw them in a live well if you want to try to look it up on your phone. We would. Well, I don't know. I mean that's a Florida thing there. I mean, can we use that or Mm -mm. Different in each state. <laughs> that one nailed it. Another baby drum. Digging, fighting like a Jack or Val. Oh, you're leaving a tinier baby drum. Strong one. I don't think so either. The biggest one we caught today. It's the biggest one we caught today, though. I'll measure him. Thirteen and a half. 13 and a half. That's going to be close to 14. Let me get the net. Here. It's going to be another 13 and a half incher. Thirteen and an eighth. <laughs> Bunch of them down there, guys. Oh, this one got a little little drag pull to him. I don't think so. 
I just got a light rod. <laughs> Say fourteen exactly. <laughs> so still got the first redfish of the day, and he really choked it down there pretty good. I got it out without hurting him. Little rat red. It ain't moving. I ain't moving this fish hardly. They don't even really know it's hooked yet. I want to loosen up on him a little. No, I want you to get a net out. <laughs> Yeah, I want you to get a net out, uh, fix sandwiches while I'm fighting the biggest fish I got on the day. <laughs> I think it's a redfish. Come on, he's right here close. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's a drum. It's a drum. Hold on, he ain't done yet. A strong one. Hold on, now. Lift it, take the net out of the water, please. All right, now go under him. Oh, he's over here, honey. I can't see the water. That might be a keeper. Aww. Black drum, baby. I don't know if he's a keeper or not, though. He was just a strong one. Super strong one. I don't fight that hard <clears throat> it's only 13 it's only 13 inches so guys uh, back at home base camp here we did catch a lot of fish today uh, you see those we catch uh, just breaking into a small black drum caught three three redfish some, some decent sized croakers got them in the cooler so we're gonna get ready clean them yeah. up all right, so these small fish, uh, I just like to scale them. And we scale them really well. I'm using the serrated side of my knife. This is this is old school, okay? It's old school, the way I learned how to do it when I was a boy. We ate almost every fish we caught whole like this with the bones and the skin with the fish upside down. Well, like that so now we got all this meat behind the head okay you know something you want to maintain whole we're just going to cut them into crisscrosses like this and you've probably seen this done a million times but what we do differently is is we come back the other direction and cut that meat into diamonds just like that on both sides and that makes it so much easier to remove from the bone Thank you. 
pretty good looking sausage you got there. That's what she said. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. How would you oh, 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 well, well. How old are you now? You're only 15, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. He, he's uh, learning the man. I know where he got that from. He's learning the man phrase. No, I've been saying a lot more. He's learning the man phrases real quick. So. Mrs. Back was just said, uh, I'm really proud of that one black drum I got. Well, this is why I'm proud of it, because we came to a strange place that we'd never been to before. We went, we traveled like to a piece of water we'd never been to before. And we got family all around us right here. Okay. You know, and so while uh, they were at school and work and whatever, we traveled down to Clear Lake and went out to like the edge of Galveston's Bay. Never been fishing there ever before. Didn't have no kind of tips. I went out and found us a place and we caught a bunch of fish. And Mrs. Backwoods was ripping them up most of the day. And I brought that sucker back home and we put it on a plate. So yeah, I am kind of proud of that. Here, here with the fam so other other commitments other than you know doing my thing uh, YouTube and uh, the Backwoods Gourmet channel so the cooking incident um, I was cooking a big pot of pasta last night I took a dish towel off the front of the stove grabbed the pot with both handles to lift the pot off it's a natural gas burner stove it has these raised burners it's real kind of different Anyway, the towel caught on fire, and so I set the pot back onto the burner and took the towel to put it in the sink to put out the fire on the fringes of the, of the towel. So here's a tip, guys. Even if you're cooking in the house, or definitely if you're cooking outside, don't use any towels with those little dangly fringes off of it. One little tiny bit of flame hits those, poof, they're up in flames. Okay, long story short, the pot slid off of this burnt raised burner on the GE cooktop, hit the, hit the floor, uh, splashed up on my foot. I was wearing water shoes since we had just got back from fishing. Got scalded on my left foot. Um, got some second degree burns there. We'll get through it. the Backwoods Gourmet uh, on location in Houston, Texas. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel, you can do it right there. For another great Backwoods Gourmet video, it's right over there. And for a whole playlist of cooking fish and seafood outdoors, it's going to be right up there. We'll see you next time.